It's been one year since the Champlain men set fire to the Brooklyn Park Salvation Army. Jack Heinrich was convicted of arson earlier this year after throwing a flower pot through the window and using donated coats to set the building ablaze. It left the organization without its traditional place of worship and caused thousands of dollars in damage. This weekend, the Salvation Army is reopening its sanctuary. Emily Haugen shares why they say it's great to be back. A church isn't a church without its people. It's the people that make the church. Spirits are high at the Brooklyn Park Salvation Army Coat Drive. But one year ago, the mood wasn't so bright after a vandal shattered glass and set fire to the sanctuary. The congregation was very saddened by that and taken back that this would happen to a Salvation Army. Vandalism that led to months of work and hundreds of thousands of dollars in damage. It also made that main place of worship unusable. This is where like the fire was, like in this space here. Captain Daniel Simmons started at this location this summer as his congregation was still cleaning up. His work has been dedicated to rebuilding ever since. It's great to set up a space. It's great to move things around. It's great to, to clean and organize, and that's really, really important. Um, uh, but it can't be in place of what needs to happen for the community. Overseeing as it came together, both in structure and in heart. I think the deep desire is to reconcile. And I believe the congregation has gotten to the place where they are uh, open to reconciliation, um, open to connection. This weekend, the sanctuary will become a place of worship and connection once again. This space, again, is just a, a symbol of what, of who we are. If we all we had was a tree outside, the congregation would meet at the tree and invite people to the tree. But as the chapel reopens its doors, it's clear inside this tree is more space to grow. In Brooklyn Park, Emily Haugen, CCX News. The Salvation Army is holding its consecration service this Sunday at 11 in the morning. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.